I remember a lesson I was teaching years and years ago and there was a problem with the computer and there was a problem with the projector and they weren't talking to each other and I said to my A-level class, I'm really sorry guys, I'm just going to take a second to fix this. And then one of my six formers piped up and said, don't worry miss, it's just because you're a girl. <laughs> now this sixth former, um, you know, A-level chemistry, so obviously, you know, an intelligent student, um, was head boy, parents from the governors, I don't think he'd ever actually been properly, properly shouted at by a teacher before in his whole entire life. Um, his first experience of a teacher properly screaming at him was me explaining to him why it was not because I was a girl. I can feel myself getting angry already. So, happy International Women's Day. Um, 8th March is International Women's Day and I am going to take this opportunity to explain to you um, why I'm a feminist, why my husband is a feminist, what feminism means to me and why you should all be feminists. Loads of people see feminism as a dirty word, something to be ashamed of. and is not. Basically, all it means is that you shouldn't treat men and women differently. You shouldn't give men or women different things, you shouldn't expect different things from them. They should be treated equally. So, my six formers shouldn't assume that I can't do things because I'm a girl. Um, another delightful, different six form class, this one, I showed them a clip of Erin Brockovich to explain um, different oxidation states in chromium. And they're kind of like, oh miss, why are you showing this, this chick flick? Chick flick? Really? Do you want to be taught A-level chemistry by chicken? No, I don't think you do. This is not a chick flick. Rah, 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 rah. And then I went off on one. And then my sixth one was kind of sat there with a look on their face. And never ever again did they suggest that anything I did was because I was a woman. Yes, I know. Um... And I'm afraid, you know, I'm older than you guys, maybe you guys have different experiences to me. But it does happen to me quite a lot. Um, I do teach very masculine subjects, physics, chemistry, maths. Um, I remember once going to ask another physics teacher when I was like learning A-level physics, if I could borrow a textbook. And I swear, he looked me up and down, gave me a proper full up and down body look and said, you don't want this, and then turned and walked away. It... What exactly about the way that I looked made him think that I didn't want to learn A-level chemistry? Oh, I could feel myself getting really, really angry. And it's not just in schools. Um, working in industry, I'd go to conferences and there'd be a room of, you know, 100 people and there might only be five women in there. And I'd walk into the room and I'd look around and I'd go, oh god. Because I knew exactly what kind of weekend I would be expecting. Or what kind of week I'd be expecting. That, you know, we were all away at a hotel together. I was in my early 20s. I was female. I knew I was going to have a horrible week of basically loads of guys hitting on me. All week. And I'm kind of like... I've come here as a scientist to talk about my work. I have not come here to have lecherous old men comment on the way that I'm dressed. Because the way that I'm dressed has absolutely nothing to do with how my mind works. I'm here to talk to you about the work that I've been doing in the lab. You should not come up to me and ask me afterwards if I'm wearing a bra or not. That is not an appropriate question to ask anyone at work, in the lab, in academia. No, because it's none of their business whether I'm wearing a bra or not. And whether I'm wearing a bra or not has absolutely nothing to do with the validity of my mind or my work. This, and I'm afraid it does happen a lot and it's still happening. Um, and... The, the fact that I have ovaries and a uterus and breasts and two X chromosomes does have absolutely nothing to do with whether I'm good at my job or not, um, how my contribution to society or not. 
it doesn't. I'm a good person. I like to think I'm a good person. And that is not determined by the fact that I have two X chromosomes. It's just not. Now, my husband is a feminist as well. Um, he was at a conference, oh, um, a while ago, he's still in academia. And somebody he was having dinner with, somebody like quite important that, you know, somebody quite important in the field that, you, you know, you don't want to annoy important people in your field, made a joke. He said, I can't remember exactly what the wording my husband told me was, but it was something along the lines of like, um, he thinks all the girls in his labs have their period synced because, you know, one week a month they will have really bad PMSing and the lab's a horrible place to be. That, that's a completely rubbish statement, okay? You cannot assume people's moods based on their periods. And whether somebody's having a period or not has absolutely nothing to do with how their mind functions, okay? People make valid contributions to society whether they're on their period or whether they're not on their period. Um, and my husband, one of the many reasons I love him dearly, called him up on this and said, you can't say that, that's completely wrong. In front of loads of his peers, he called someone very important on the field and the fact that he was making sexist comments. And guys that do that are sexy, okay? Guys that will actually stand up for women and say that I am a feminist, I will stick up for you and do this, and if I see sexism, I will call you on it. That's Lexi. And guys that go around dismissing women because, oh, um, you don't want to do this because you're a girl, are not sexy. No. Okay? So guys, if you want to be sexy, we need to think about being a feminist. Yes. Um, so, happy International Women's Day, guys. Um, you should be feminists. I know that, I know that the word isn't very fashionable. I know that the word doesn't seem like something you want to be but there is no reason that people shouldn't be treated equally whether it's about their sex whether it's about their color whether it's about their religion their race what they believe in just treat everyone equally okay just be nice to people please